in Pathfinder, we have the ability to display visual representation of communications, making it easier to find connections between parties who the suspect may interact with, or even the potential middleman connecting two parties of interest by plotting social circles. The easiest way to plot these social circles is to start with the top interactive parties in the dashboard. So when we're in dashboard view, we can click on go, and that is going to lead us to the top interactive parties widget, where we can review the owner's main connections and the number of interactions they had with one another. When in the chats view, you will see that there's a thread of chats between the owner of the party you choose. In this case, we see Juan and Renee. You can either look at the group chat that they both take part in, or in their peer-to-peer -peer chats. The choice is yours. If we click back, we're gonna be able to see another useful feature, which is the most interactive platforms. Within the most interactive platforms, we see that criminals tend to use multiple chat platforms in order to possibly hide their communications from law enforcement or because they're simply encrypted and they think it's a more secure way to communicate. When you hover on each participant, you can see the breakdown of the channels. In this case, what we're looking at is Renee. The graph view. The graph view is a great way for you to identify mutual connections and potential middlemen, as mentioned earlier. We wanna be able to find the most important or useful people within an investigation. So what you can look at here is interaction frequency. We can navigate the graph and we can filter on this in the graph settings to select a minimum or a maximum number of an event. So you can set an amount and then you can change that to see the different correlation. This is a way that we can filter out people who are not as relevant to the investigation. When you click on the link to investigate, this is how you're going to actually see these mutual connections. Here we can see the mutual connections between Tony, Renee, and Ruth. So you can see the different colorization that helps it stand out for who these people have in common. High level criminals will often avoid interacting directly with lower level associates in order to separate themselves. So it's important that we understand the compartmentalization here. So here we can see Renee and agency Danny. We can also see if you go into event type, we can choose the number of participants and do we want it to be greater than, less than, or equal to? So here I'm gonna say greater than three and search. And it's going to narrow and change that view for you. And you're going to see additional people at this point. So now we can see we have Dan Juris, we have Tony, Renee, Ruth, and Juan. The choice is yours in what you can do in analyzing these groups. It's important that you focus on larger groups or smaller intimate ones. For the large groups, you can figure out potential upcoming gatherings, but for these small ones, you may actually be able to see the true point of communications.